Hello everyone, my name is Cap, and welcome back to the channel another 7 Days to Die video. I'm doing all this in Alpha 16.4 on the PC, but this should work on consoles as well because it's nothing really specific to the cons or to the PC version. Now, I am down here in Dyersville, and if you've been around for a little bit, you may recognize this house. A little while ago, I did a video showing how you can take just one of these default houses here, and just with a little bit of effort, you can kind of beef it up a little bit and give you a good place to hide until you have the ability to build your own base. And that video did really, really well. It still gets a lot of traffic. A lot of people leaving comments on there, and one of the biggest things people have been saying is, I can't believe you didn't test that up against a horde. So here we're going to try to see how this is going to work out. So just kind of give you a tour here in case what's going on. We got just wood spikes all the way around to some kinds, some of them, you know, kind of doubled up a little bit here all the way around through the back. You know, a few spaces missing here and there. No big deal. And uh, let's see if we can jump over this fence without hitting the spikes. Okay, so we got them all the way around this side. We'll board it up a lot of the windows on the bottom. And we'll do some reinforcements from the inside. I got some hay here because we got a little platform on the outside of the window. So we can walk around and be able to see outside what's going on. But in case we need to bail, we got a safe spot we can land. It's the inside. We tore down the door, but I'm going to put one up there a little bit stronger. And like I said, I reinforced the walls and stuff all the way around here. But, you know, we'll definitely do a little bit more here. It was something that you could possibly do yourself, um, you know, within just the first few days of, you know, moving to this general area here. Because as long as you have a bunch of wood, you can totally upgrade this house. I don't know why I did that one specific block, but we did it anyway. So... Oh, I'll also kind of show you what we did over here, if you didn't see it in the previous one, is knocked off the first two rows of steps going up, and then put a whole bunch of wood spikes down there, and then the stairs going up from the basement, we knocked those out too. So anything that's trying to come upstairs to get you will run right off and flop around on there, and then not be able to get up because they can't get to the stairs anyway. So of course, you know, if you yourself need to get up here, all you do is just jump on top of your block, pick it back up, and you're good to go. It's the safest way to get up so you don't accidentally fall down on your own trap. So what I'm going to do before we actually get started. Oh, uh, also upstairs just in case what we did. Let me see. This one's still boarded up. No big deal. Um, knocked off the bottom rung of this ladder and knocked out all the windows. So like I said before, if we need to bail, we can get out on the roof here. But they can't follow us up on top of the attic. And uh, nothing up here didn't do anything at all, but we got this little walking path here that you can walk around and see. And you can build out with wood frames about six or seven blocks from the house without it collapsing. But I figured this would probably be far enough to be able to get some shots in if you need to kind of clear up the horde. And, uh, you know, like I said, if you need to kind of bail out quickly, you can land on some hay without taking any damage and get out of town real fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and finish um, beefing up the outside level of this house here, just a few places. Make sure it's nice and strong as much as I can. I don't want to go overboard because I want this to kind of be realistic. You know, if you were, let's say, day six by now and you were lucky enough to find a bunch of supplies, you could, you know, realistically run into one of these houses, do a bunch of upgrades, put a bunch of wood spikes around there, lock the doors, hide inside and see what happens so let's get a few upgrades done to it real quick and we'll do one more real fast tour before we get started and fire up the horde and see what happens and we are ready to go now i just put a line of wood spikes down kind of along the front side and both over here just in case they come from that direction to kind of run through them i made sure a few little spots that i had that missing and of course we got some weird floaters because the way the grass is and i went through and reinforced the corners just the first level here because that's going where they're going to hit anyway the bottom is brick or stone i should say and just reinforce the walls all the way around, reinforce the porch, and I put just a regular secure, you know, scrap iron door on here, basically. Upgrade it with what you could have, just basically having regular iron. I didn't want to do forged iron or anything like that, just in case, because I'm like, eh, if you are, you know, just showing up here in the run and you have, you know, stuff that you've collected, you can scrap real fast on the go, you know, then you're probably going to be able to make that kind of door, but for the most part, you aren't going to have that stuff on you, so you don't want to, I'm not going to try and do something that you may not have and I completely removed the back door because typically they're going to try and go for the front door but being a blood moon horde they'll go for whichever side of the house they get to first I'm hoping they can beat in on it and so also what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chair right there because if you've seen some of my videos in the past you know zombies have a serious problem getting past chairs it's actually comical to watch so we'll put one right y'all I'm not going to worry about putting one over this hole because they're just going to run over it anyway but get up here I'm gonna get right up in here and just in case I'll put a yeah we'll put it right there that way if they do manage to get all the way up here somehow or another they still gotta get through my chair I'll put one right here too just in case they figure out how to get through that door because their pathfinding sometimes a little bit smarter than I like to give them credit for 
But we're good to go, so we're going to hang out here pretty much just on this second level until things get absolutely chaotic. And uh, if things go terrible, then we can always jump up real quick and go to the attic if we need to. But we're pretty much good to go. So I'm going to get this set time over here for the horde, and we will be ready to go. All right, just about time for them to show up. I'm hoping they show up from the front here, just because it'll make it a lot easier for you guys to see what they're doing. And because I don't have as much set up in the backyard, because I got the fence and stuff around there. And no, I didn't worry about upgrading this. I mean, I guess I can while I'm standing here, so it looks, you know, somewhat better. Okay, we got one. All right, get off my hay bale. You don't know what you're doing up there. Okay, that's my little getaway spot here. Okay, so she's she. You know, there's nothing says I can't take some shots here. Now, you may not have the same kind of guns and stuff I have going on, and that's fine, too. This is just kind of used for example sakes. And All right, so we got Big Mama in a group over there at that house. Y'all are at the wrong house. But y'all can come over here if you want to. They're working on the spikes. They'll start working on the house a little bit. I'm not going to do too much defense. This is kind of along the lines of, eh, just kind of see what happens, if they can even make it in here. Um, I don't, let's see, just curious here, how many... We got 19 total in the game. Right at the moment, that's not too bad. That's a, that's a decent little horde for early on in the game. You're probably not going to get too many things like whites and cops and stuff. And early on, by the time you get to a level where those are really the big threat, surely then you'll have some actual traps set up. And sorry, Sylvia. And so you probably not have to deal with it as much. This is kind of just checking to see how well a default house would work against a regular horde without doing too anything chaotic. This is you know like basic level upgrading here. You know what? Let's do. Put that right there, and put this right here, just so we can kind of look around the corner a little bit, see if they're over there. Can I can I get you right there? Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right. So nobody's over there. We got a couple below us here. Mo is really working on that porch, but he's not getting a whole lot done. Let's see if we can go around on this side and do this. I'm trying to be very very careful with it. Hey, Roger. What's up? All right. So let's see if we can get this right there. All right. Now let's have a look, see what's around this corner. Oh, I almost walked out too far. There's Big Mom again. We got another Mo. Uh, got a Big Mom as a crawler down there. See, these wood spikes do a decent amount of damage to even just the ba most basic level of things here. So, um, you know, with me being outside, they're trying to get to where I am more than they are trying to get to the house. So if I go inside, yeah, let me pick up this chair quick. Let's give them a chance so they can actually make it through the fun house here. Let's let's hide right here and see if any of them even get inside. We'll just kind of wait here for a little bit and see. Because like I said, waiting outside, standing kind of over the overhang a little bit, they're going to sit there and just go for me the whole time. So let's hang out here for a bit and see what happens. All right, so we're coming up on midnight. You can see we got Mo. He's making his way in here. He's getting to the actual softer bit of the wood there. Of course, you know, nothing says you can't take some shots at him. You know, take out a leg or something. Just kind of slow him down a little bit. They're working on that front porch area. They finished knocked down my decorative railing. We got a dog over here. Those things are loud. There's a... Well, let's, let's check and see what we got right now. We got just 12 in the game. A quite a few have died on the spikes that's out there and taking some shots on them. I'm, I'm not really worried. I mean, they're, they're still beating on this one piece of floor. Or I don't even know what they're trying to hit. It looks like they're missing everything entirely to get in over there. So, you know, if this says you can't take occasional little pot shots at them, shoot her right in the boob. This group over here is just loud, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's a dog. Get rid of this dog because I don't like the dogs. Sylvia's there. I'm not going to bother her. She's a good hard worker, so I don't want to mess with her. All right. Looks like we got a regular old lady showing up over here. But yeah, they're not really doing anything. I mean, they'll eventually be able to beat enough blocks in like this one. Let's see what happens here if they finish beating this one down, if she can even get to it. All right. You almost got through. Okay. Now you just got to step over his body. Come on. They might still be too tall right there for them to get underneath this one block. Which, if they have to beat on this little metal reinforced wood block, it's going to take them a little while. You know what you could do to kind of troll the zombies is you could kind of scooch in here and just go, you know, if you have the supplies. This is cement, so I don't have any on me, of course. But you can just sit here and repair the blocks as they're beating on them. Just kind of, you know, mess with them a little bit. But oh, we'll just sit here for a little while longer and see what happens if they ever make it to me by morning or not. Oh, I think we're about to see some magic. All right, they knocked off the block, and down they go. Okay, so now you get to climb over all the spikes. Oh, look, we got... Oh, ooh, there's a big crowd. All right, come on in, guys. Come on in. All right, we got Spinner Mo down there. Who's doing it? Showing off his uh, breakdancing skills. The rest of them are not having a good time at all. See, they lost some limbs getting in those spikes. Just a one basic row of spikes. Big Mama comes crawling her big butt in there. But... Yeah, they're they're really not doing much. I mean, t 
take a shot here and there, and, you know, kind of, you know, get your experience up a little bit because you don't get experience for zombies dying by your traps and stuff there. So, you know, if you feel it necessary, take a shot or two while they're down here not moving and get the occasional kill in there. And there's a bunch of big mamas in this herd. So, you know, get a little bit of experience while they're just sitting here not doing anything, but... You know, hey Roger, there's another Sylvia here. Let's see if any more have showed up here. So we are, ooh, there's 22 left in the game right now. That's nice. Spawning Blood Moon. All right, let's see here. Let's see now there are, there's just 20. A couple more have died, but I mean, we're at 1.30 in the morning. They're not going to get to us. At this point, we could just pop a sleeping bag on the stairs and hang out till morning. They're, they're not going to get here. So anyway, we'll wait till morning and see what's going on and we'll check back in. And there's the chime. Spent all night just sitting here on the steps. Nothing really happened. I mean, there's a couple of zombies still out there. Let's see how many total are left. There are four left in the game that aren't actually dead. Well, no, there's three left in the game. I don't know where the other ones are. But let's just get down and see what they you know, what they did to my beautiful house here. So they tore out this part of the flooring for sure. Definitely destroyed all the spikes that I had down there. Just, just because, I mean, I knew they would. Let's go around and look outside. They definitely didn't even go for the door. I don't think they did. Did they do any damage to the door? Barely. Looks like they hit it one time. All right, let's see what's going on. Anything out here? Definitely nobody upstairs. All right, let's pull this out. All right, so they definitely wiped out some of the spikes. Let's see, who did we got down here? Oh, there's too many, too many bodies moving kind of slow. All right, what's up, what's up, dude? Hey, you. Lone survivor here. Missed. Took off an ear. There we go. All right, so how many do we have left that are alive? Let's see, we got dead, true, dead falls. Oh, we got a crawler over here. Looks like you've just had a long, terrible night. I don't know where the other one is. Probably hiding somewhere in the house. You know, at this point, there's no real spikes level. Let's just jump down here and have a look around. So there's a whole bunch, and now you can just hop down here and you know do all your looting if you want to. Get back around here this way if you need to. So yeah, this is a fairly easy way to survive a horde. I mean, this is this was a pretty intense level of horde. I mean, there was, eh, it wasn't like I said, there wasn't cops and there wasn't whites and some of the other ferals and stuff you'd run into. But for the most part, this is a, a pretty decent sized horde. It's hard to jump off of these all these bodies without you know while hitting the ceiling. So let me do. Yeah, so for everyone who's want me to try this house out during a Blood Moon Horde, there you go. I Hopefully this was entertaining, and let's see if they did anything to the back of the house. I eh, did a little bit of damage back here. They, you know, broke some spikes out. They punched the house a few times. What about this side over here? Oh, don't run into yourself. They didn't even come over to this side. They kind of spawned in from that direction they came in. Uh, let's see, they did do a little damage to my porch. Knocked out a window. Knocked out a hay bale. Uh, how dare them. But there's just bodies for days now. It's a whole lot of looting. But you can see, I didn't do a whole lot of work on upgrading this. I upgraded the bottom level of the house just to get them to work on it. I did have some scrap iron so I could work on it. You know, sealed it off so they can't get upstairs by blocking this off right here. Just put some wood spikes down there. They, they can't do anything about it. Now, like I said, once you get to the point where you got cops showing up and they can vomit upstairs at you and they can start busting down, you know, the stairs with their vomit and then they get unhappy and explode, then you have some other problems to deal with. There's a few other modifications you can do to that. But even then, you could just sit up in the attic and hide all night long and they're not going to get to you in a house like this so hopefully this was entertaining um you know if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below um if you're new here be sure to subscribe if you're not already so don't miss on future videos if you smack that little bell icon and join the notification squad and you get an email when the videos go live meantime thank you guys so much for all your support you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later